Hi, my name's John Hawkins with Miller Industries, and today we're filming from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee on our B-Line and Large Wrecker install. We're going to talk today about the mounting bolts, mounting bolt hardware, mounting frames for the integrated and the rotator product line. But a lot of what we're going to talk to you about today is also referencing car carriers and small wreckers. So this isn't exclusive just for Large Wrecker. It's across the whole product line. When you get your new product, you should read your manual because it gets into the maintenance programs. It talks about your 30-day, your 90-day, your 180, and your annual maintenance programs, and that process needs to be followed. Start a little bit with the hardware. Very, very important with the hardware that we use a mounting bolt with a shoulder, and this shows that shoulder right there. This is a regular bolt with no shoulder. If this is used through the mounting rail in the frame, you will actually start working on the very peaks of the threads. And that will loosen this bolt up a lot quicker and this is not the right system to use. This is the right system, the right hardware, so that when this is driven through and we're gonna show you the mounting rail into the chassis frame, there are no peaks and valleys. This is a solid contact point going through the mounting rail and the chassis rail. That's very, very critical. The next thing is we only want to use a nylon nut that's got the nylon on the inside so that when it tightens down, you know that you've captured the, the compression of that thread. The other thing is, is you always want to make sure that you have at least three rows of threads visible. You don't want it just flush with that because that means that nylock is not working. Do not use a regular nut. This will not keep that nut tight on that bolt during our application as you load and unload that mount. Now we're going to talk about what happens when the bolt gets loose. If this bolt loosens up for any reason or happens to fall out, the load's going to go on the other hardware. Every time you put a load on the underlift, or you put a load on the recovery boom, or you put a load on that carrier bit, it's going to start working up and down. And it's going to wallow the bolt, and it's going to wallow the, an oval shape instead of a round hole in here. And that will now start working and wearing against this bolt and putting it into a possible shear configuration. Now we've moved over to a mounted unit up onto this cabin chassis and I'm doing that so that we're going to demonstrate a very simple and quick way to check your mounting bolts. A couple things to remember. Always do this on flat ground. Never use the hydraulic rear jacks or the underlift to lift the back of the body up so making it easier for you to get in around the toolbox to do what we're going to do right here. Because if you do that, you can place load up on these mounting bolts. And one of the things we're checking is, is we're going to sound these bolts. Just take a simple ball peen hammer. There's a good bit of room in between the mounting bolts and the back side of the boxes so that you can come down here and tap these bolts and actually hear a sound as to if one is loose or not loose. And as we said in the manual, every 30 days, look at what is the SAT effect for that mounting bolt and do 75% of it. That's where you're going to torque that bolt to. Thanks for watching this video and make sure that you subscribe to our news feed for the latest tricks and tips. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.